Tata Motors is betting big on EVs. They already have four in their lineup and they're planning on investing $2 billion and adding 10 more by 2026. You have to wonder where are they going to build all these EVs. Welcome to their plant in Sanand, Gujarat. Tata Motors is giving us unprecedented access to this entire facility. So we're going to take you on a detailed tour. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon to stay notified. Spanning a sprawling 460 acres, this is Tata Motors' second facility in Gujarat and is dedicated to the production of both ICE and electric vehicles. Located in the industrial heart of GIDC Sanand, Tata Motors took ownership of this plant from Ford India on Jan 10, 2023. Now operating under Tata Passenger Electric Mobility Limited, the factory was retooled in just 12 months, transitioning from producing Ford Figo and the Aspire to Tata Nexon ICE and EV models. The shift has been rapid and remarkable. In Jan 2024, the first ICE Nexon was manufactured at this plant. By April, the production of the Nexon EV commenced, with efforts now intensifying to keep pace with rising demand. Currently, the facility boasts a capacity to produce 300,000 vehicles annually, with potential expansion up to 420,000. Additionally, the plant's capability to manage four different platforms simultaneously enhances its adaptability and readiness to meet diverse automotive needs. The plant encompasses four key production areas – stamping, body construction, paint and final assembly. Before we explore these, our first stop is the in-house modern training facility Nalanda, a cornerstone of the site's commitment to excellence and innovation. Upon acquiring the plant from Ford, Tata Motors offered positions to all of Ford's hourly workforce, with over 850 choosing to join the Tata family. Tata has significantly invested in employee development, notably through the establishment of the Nalanda University within the plant. This initiative in partnership with 5-star rated Ganpat University of Ahmedabad underscores Tata's dedication to skill enhancement and ongoing education. This plant has the distinction of having its own in-house university called Nalanda and 100% of the workforce is enrolled in this university in higher education courses and all of that is free of cost, there are no conditions after completion. After their shifts, employees can enhance their qualifications through tailored educational programs. ITI certificate holders can pursue diplomas, diploma holders can aim for a B.Tech degree and engineering graduates can enroll in a specialized M.Tech program. All courses focus on EV technology, boosting their skills and future job prospects in the evolving automotive industry. Now let's explore how the Nexon ICE and EV models are crafted, starting in the state-of-the-art stamping shop. Since the takeover, this area has seen extensive retooling and technological upgrades, achieving 80% automation. Here, large hydraulic presses equipped with custom dies for parts like doors, hoods and fenders shape raw steel sheets into precise body panels. After stamping, each panel undergoes trimming and is laser scanned to ensure dimensional accuracy, ensuring every component meets Tata's high standards. The stamp panels then advance to the heart of production, the weld shop, where automation reaches an impressive 98%. In this area, smaller panels are secured in jigs and robots precisely weld them into larger sections such as the flow pan, the firewall, A, B and C pillars and the side structures. As these components unite, the Nexon's distinctive shape starts to take form. A cutting-edge camera-based perceptron vision system monitors the presence of welding studs in the bodies in white, measuring each body during assembly. This technology reduces costs associated with scrap, rework and material wastage. One of the final steps here involves welding the roof, ensuring each vehicle is thoroughly inspected and corrected if necessary before proceeding to the next stage, the paint shop. The paint shop features over 80 robots, achieving a 50% automation rate. Each body in white is tagged with an RFID that records the intended color, variant and other specifications guiding the robots in their tasks. The painting process begins with the electrophoretic deposition coating using a 360-degree rotational dip method to prevent corrosion. 
Robots then paint the vehicle's internal areas before applying a base coat, a top coat and a clear coat on a wet on wet sequence, requiring only one baking session at the end. The final steps include applying underbody coating and wax to further resist corrosion, ensuring the painted bodies are prepared to advance to the next stage. The final assembly shop, also known as the TCF or Trim Chassis and Final Shop, boasts 100% in-station error proofing. Here the Nexon EV is equipped with its battery pack before moving on to subsequent stages. In the trim section, vehicles are fitted with glass, window mouldings and bumpers. Following this, the interior components including the dashboard, seat and steering wheels are installed. The next stage involves the assembly of the suspension, fuel tank, brakes and other critical underside components, ensuring each vehicle is meticulously crafted and ready for the road. Finally, it's time for the marriage stage. Here the Nexon EV receives its drive motors while the Nexon ICE is fitted with its engine and transmission. Following this key assembly step, the vehicles are filled with essential fluids including coolant and brake fluid, preparing them for their journey to the final inspection. This crucial stage ensures that each vehicle meets Tata's stringent quality standards before it leaves the production line. And there you have it, the end of the line. After that entire process, the car finally makes it here for its final inspection. Here onwards, it goes on its own steam. It moves on for a final wheel alignment, a shower test and a final QC check. That is how the Tata Nexon is built. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos just like this.